Hello and welcome. Yes, my dash is extremely dusty. I'm shedding. I'm, I'm molting, if you will. If you've seen this message, if you're the owner of, let's say, a Toyota Highlander hybrid, you might have run into this problem in the past or will run into it in the future. I'm not sure what models utilize this light, but it, it can be a bit confusing when you do receive it. Uh, I've received this warning light and then like my car has stopped. Uh, when it turned over. I think I turned it off and then I turned it back on. And that's a bad idea, especially like if you're on the roadway, I believe. <laughs> you don't want to turn it off and then turn it back on. Like do diagnostics while doing 40. No, you don't want to do that. You just pull over, I guess, if you can, but really just get home. It ended up requiring me to disconnect and reconnect the battery terminals. That's how I got past that code. Um, l let's look at it a little bit further because other people are, what could be causing this? Let's let's kind of get into some of the information about this check VSC system warning light. So what does VSC even stand for? Um, vehicle Stability and Traction Control. And I guess in a Lexus, it's vehicle stability control so for the lexus it's to help regulate your shocks brakes during emergency maneuvers and generally speaking for toyota vsc is a system that helps prevent side skids and help stabilize the vehicle while turning on a curve so lots of people have had this problem this guy says uh, have it scanned at a local auto parts, auto zone. And this guy pointed to the problem could be loose gas cap to the uh, evaporative system, um, vacuum leak, and a few other things. This guy says it fixes to purchase a new gas cap. This guy says to make sure that you hear a click on your gas cap. Um, I know me personally, uh, I'm not going to be doing the gas cap, but I can ensure that the gas cap is clicked on. So you want to turn the gas cap until it clicks. It even says it right on the gas cap, but we're not too keen on reading every little word. Uh, then he proceeds to talk about cleaning around the gas cap. It's basically about the vacuum seal at the gas cap. Then uh, he proceeds to talk about uh, greasing these, this O-ring around the gas cap so there's a nice seal. What you're looking for is a nice seal so you don't throw that code. And this is only one potential remedy. And here he talks about turning on and off the, or I guess recalibrating the VSC controls. This guy says, my mom has a 2005 Highlander. She had the same problem with the these two lights, the VSC and check engine. When she took it in, it was just that the throttle fuse needed to be replaced and tightened and they tightened the battery cables. Interesting. It's a wide variety of codes, I guess, when you get this check engine VSC engine light. This guy's talking about having to change the accelerator pedal assembly. And this guy talks about, uh, not sure how old the thread is, I went and checked my 2007 Highlander's gas cap, and sure enough, it wasn't screwed on. Filled up in New Jersey over the weekend, and the attendant was so rushed, he did not screw it on at all. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's easy to not take it that extra level, because you think it's tight. You're not waiting for the click. This guy talks about, I had all three lights turn on at once after reading this blog. I put some three-in-one oil on the gas cap, basically re-lubricating, restarted the car, and checked the engine. VSC and track lights all went out. I checked the engine with my OBD tool and no codes. So because your gap is not seating correctly, your stability contr control and traction control turns off so you can skid right off the highway. It makes sense to me. And it totally does, does not. And that's his point, I believe. And I, that's why I think it's kind of a general code. But, you know, I'm no scientist. This guy talks about 2007 Highlander check engine light and VSC have illuminated twice, both times. The gas cap was not getting screwed back on. Uh, past the one click you should hear. Darn, kids. Screwed the cap back on one click, uh, but that does not make the dash light disappear. To make the dash light disappear and reset, I disconnected the battery for five seconds. This is actually what I have done, but I never targeted it down to the gas cap. I just, <laughs> I just said, hey, something screwed up and, and this undoing the battery and putting it back on fixes it. I have an OBD meter. I tried that, tried to get some information, but there weren't any other symptoms and the light went away. So the disconnecting and reconnecting of the battery terminals when you're preferably at home, preferably at home would be the, the trick and the idea. Yeah. And this guy's saying uh, engine check light, VSC track off 2006, go to CNS. So I put a little Vaseline on the gas cap O-ring and presto, no more warning lights. I and mean, this is this is usually probably the first cheapest, easiest thing to check. So I would do that. This guy says, uh, looks like the VSC vehicle stability control is complex in its design. 
Um, not it is design. Uh, this page below gives a detailed description. Try the other five links. And unfortunately, this page cannot be found. So thanks a bunch. So I guess the big takeaway here is check the gas cap, check the O-ring, make sure there's a nice seal, um, know some of the symptoms that are going on, know what you were doing when the light came on. Don't immediately stop, even though they say that you kind of should. If you're hundreds of miles away, of course. Of course, stop. Stop somewhere safe. Don't do a test uh, on the highway like I did where you turn your car off and turn it back on. Yeah, don't be stupid and get that stuff checked out. Yeah, post comments, subscribe, like, and all that stuff down in the comment section below. And uh, you guys have uh, one heck, one gosh darn heck of a day. How's that?